Hi, Paige from Talking Points here, and I am going to walk you through the Talking Points for Parents app today. So I'll tell you a little bit about Talking Points and then walk you through how to use our app to communicate with your child's teachers. So let's go ahead and look at what is Talking Points and who is the organization that brings it to you? So Talking Points meaningfully connects teachers and families for student success. And how we do that is we support every child to learn, grow, and succeed. We empower family members to be partners in their children's education because you are the experts in your children and who they are. And so we want you to be part of their education just as much as the teachers are. And we wanna help teachers and schools successfully support you. This is what uh, Talking Points does. This is how it works. Your teachers will send you messages via Talking Points, the app. And um, whether your language is set for English or any other language that you speak within the list that we support of over a hundred different languages, it'll be translated or just sent in English to you and automatically be ready for you to read and respond to. So you don't have to wait for those papers to come home crumpled in a backpack, or you don't have to wait uh, to hear from a phone call hours after school has already let out. Um, you can have that quick and easy conversation with a teacher uh, throughout the day or whenever you're available. So Talking Points really wants you to have that ongoing, easy, efficient conversation that's relationship building between you and your child's school. So let's go ahead and look at what the Talking Points for Parents app looks like and how you can use it. All right, so when you first open your Talking Points for Parents app, this should be the first screen that you see. It will say welcome family members and the first thing you select is going to be your home language. This is the language that you want to receive messages in. If your home language is English, leave it as it is, but you can also select from our list of over a hundred different languages. You can scroll or you can select uh, to search. I'm going to select English and click next. Then you can type in your phone number and your email address is optional. You won't be receiving your messages via email address, but your email address can be used for us to send you um, exciting announcements about new features that we release on the app or um, tips on how to connect with your teacher or blog posts that we've released with teachers and experts in the field, things like that. So if you want to include your email address, you absolutely can do that as well. When you're done doing that, you'll click next. Once you've entered your phone number, you'll receive a code via text message. You'll enter that in and click next as well. This is just to verify that you are the owner of the phone number that you're using to enter the app. All right, now you are in the app, ready to go. Okay, so when you come into the Talking Points for Parents app, you're going to see something like this. This is the main dashboard of your Talking Points for Parents app. If you've already been added into some classes and had some conversations. If you are coming on for the first time, you won't see all of this. You might instead see a screen that looks like this. This is asking for a class code, which is something you're going to need to get from your teacher. It'll be a combination of numbers and letters, possibly just letters, um, that is six digits that you need to get directly from your teacher because it's unique for every class. You'll type it in here and then click join. It will add you to the classes that you need to be in, and then you can start messaging those teachers. On this main home screen, you can click send message to 
start sending those messages to whoever you'd like to send to. It could be a school that you're connected to, a teacher, um, whoever it is you'd like to message. I'm gonna send a message to Miss Selena. Say, hi, how is Bryn doing in class today? And hopefully I'll hear back from Miss Selena. And I can see that that's my top message for today in my recent messages. You can also see that I have a new message from Miss Anka Weiss, because I sent her a message about Bren, and she said, apart from refusing to take off her rain boots in class, she was quite well behaved. So I'm having those constant uh, check-ins with my, my students' teachers so that I'm not left out of the loop. And I'm, I'm not asking my kid at the end of the day, how was school? What'd you do? Nothing and then not knowing what's going on. We're getting that conversation between the teacher and, and the parent um, to build those relationships and really know. So in the message, you can see a few options. I see a speaker button. Thanks for checking in. That will read the messages to me. If, for instance, if I uh, have trouble reading to myself, some parents, their literacy isn't quite um, at the level that it might need to be for some of the messages that come through. Or if um, a message comes through and doesn't quite make sense, say if your language is not set to English, if it's set to another language and the translation doesn't come through correctly, if there was a typo, if anything like that disrupts translation, you can use this question mark button called help me understand that will allow you to request better translation that sends the message to a human translator again to have them look at it, look at the context and try to kind of decipher what it was supposed to say to help you understand better what it, what it means. If you hold your finger down on a message, you'll get a few more options. Again, you can have the speaker read it aloud to you. You can like a message so the teacher knows that you saw it and liked it. And you can copy that message to paste it somewhere. And the help me understand option is there as well. That is in that thread. You can also respond, type a message. You can add photos uh, and videos from your phone or from the camera as well. Scrolling down on your home screen, you'll see recent announcements as well. So announcements are slightly different from messages because they go out to everyone in a class or everyone in a school. Um, so for instance, Claudine is an administrator at my school and she sent to everybody in the school a message about uh, happy, happy Tuesday, send me a picture of what you're seeing. So she sent a picture of her dog and I liked it because it's just a cute dog. And if I wanted to reply, I could do that as well. I could also have it read to me by clicking that button. I could see all and it would show me all of the announcements that I've received. Some are polls, some are pictures, some are documents. And I can go back to my home screen. At the bottom of the home screen, you'll see some articles that are attached that uh, give you some information on some common questions that we get, how to join a class, replying to messages, and then a button that uh, shows you how to get help from us. You can start a conversation with myself or some members of my team that are standing by, ready to answer your questions and help you make the most of the app when you need help from us. Moving over to the right in the messages tab, this takes you back to the messages thread, uh, the message threads. So with each teacher of each child, there's a separate thread. So you can click in to each one to see what your conversations have been, just like on your phone with your text messages. Um, you can click into those. We've looked kind of at what, what you can do within those. And in the top right-hand corner, if you wanna start a brand new one, you'll see the pencil and paper icon. And that's what, what is in that middle tab for messages. And the last tab is profile. 
This allows you to look at classes that you that your children are in and join a new class, which we talked about at the beginning. Pick a child that you have and join with a code. If you need to leave a class, select the child that is in the class and click leave class. In your profile, you can see everything that is that is listed. And if you click the pencil in the top right hand corner, you can make changes there. You can change your name, your language. You can add your email address, um, make whatever changes you need. You can make you can make those changes as you wish. Down here, this is a list of any child, any student that's ever been attached to your account, not the ones who are currently active. For instance, Abby, I don't believe I have Abby in any classes right now. No, I don't. But at some point, I did have Abby in a class and I was communicating with her teachers, so she's listed here. Um, since I use my account to do so many tests on the app, I have a lot of students listed. You won't have this many listed. But if you do see one that you used to have, maybe they graduated, maybe they moved on to another school, if they're listed in your profile, that's fine. They won't be in your classes unless they're active and, mess and you're messaging with their teacher. If you're done messaging with their teacher, you can leave their class. At the bottom of the profile tab, you'll see some additional options for support. You can delete your account and there's also an option to log out. If you log out of the app, you will immediately start getting your messages via SMS text instead of through the app. And the last thing I'll point out is down at the bottom, those numbers that tells you what version of the app you are using. So if you go into the App Store or Google Play and you see another version that's a higher number, then you're ready for an update and you can go ahead and update the app. So that's it for the Talking Points for Parents app. I hope this was helpful and you're ready to build some connections with your teachers and message them right away. Uh, let us know if you need any help. You can reach out to us at hello at talkingpts.org and we'll be ready to help you out. Thanks a bunch. Bye.